lip sync. When creating talking characters in 2D, 3D games or AI-powered chatbots, you need two things to make it convincing. The audio of what is being said and the mouth movements to visually represent it, called lip sync for the synchronization between what you hear and what you see. For the audio, you can record it yourself, generate it with text-to-speech solutions like OpenAI or Eleven Labs, or you can even generate fun sounds like what Animal Crossing is doing. About lip sync, the solutions at our disposal for web experiences are limited. In my previous tutorials, I showed two of them. Using Azure as our TTS solution, the good part is that the data to do the lip sync is provided when generating the audio. The bad part is that Azure is expensive and not the most advanced solution to generate realistic speech from text. This is what I used in my teacher tutorial, but it's also the reason why I can keep the AI live as a free demo. The second alternative I found until now was to use Rhubarb lip sync library. It's what I used in the virtual girlfriend tutorial. It takes an audio as an input and generates the lip sync data as an output. It's free and handles any audio source. In the virtual girlfriend scenario, I used Eleven Labs, which is high quality and got very good results. Hey dear, how was your day? I missed you so much. Please, don't go for so long. Seems perfect, right? The problem is that it is very slow to generate the data. Let's say we have a simple flow. We generate the text using AI, then we generate the audio using AI. It can take up to a few seconds. By adding the rhubarb lip sync process, it adds a few seconds for a short audio and many more for longer ones. Not ideal. And I didn't even mention the fact it only runs server side, meaning your backend should do the process for every request from every user. One of the projects I'm working on is a professional grade 3D AI chatbot template, including multiple scenarios. More to come about this in the future, but to make it happen, I need a fast, free and effective solution. I knew real-time was possible because many years ago, for a similar VR use case, I used the Oculus Lip Sync library with Unity. Unfortunately, no equivalent existed so far for the web browser, so I decided to create mine, Wawa Lip Sync. Big frogs jump quickly, vex that sharp ducks zoom near. Before I show you how to use it, let's discuss what it is and how it works. Wawa Lip Sync is an open source JavaScript based real time lip sync library. While the main example is using 3.js with the React 3 Fiber, the library is written in TypeScript and can work with any JS project you have with any framework. You can even use it to animate 2D characters. What it does is it analyzes the last milliseconds of the audio signal and deduct the lip sync data called Visim. A Visim is the visual representation of a phoneme. For example, if you close your eyes and I say P, you will hear the sound P based on the sound I did. This is the P phoneme. And to produce this sound, my lips will have to be pinched together. This is the Visim. If I say P while you see my mouth wide open like this, P, it's not very convincing. While for the O sound, my mouth will be open and slightly rounded. There is around a dozen of different visims, and the good part is that it only relies on the sound and not on the language. To be able to detect the phoneme based on the audio, we need to dissect it. To do so, we are using the analyzer node available on all the browsers. The graph you see is a visual representation of the played audio. The bars represent the volumes per group of frequencies, the legend on the bottom represents their frequencies, and the moving white line is the centroid, to understand the dynamic of the sound. With this, we are already able to detect some sounds. Let's play a drum kick and visualize its frequency. It's around 80 Hz, while a snare will be around 200 Hz. But this alone can't help us know exactly what phoneme we have. First, we need to identify the volume and frequencies over time. If it's a short burst of volume, it's surely a plosive, like in the B or P sounds. If it's a sustained power, it's probably a vowel. We also have the fricative sounds. You can hear in the F or S sound that produce unique high frequencies. 
By combining all of this information, we can deduce which phoneme is played and assign the correct visim. I won't go too much into the details, but if you are curious, the code is open source. Feel free to look at the algorithm and even contribute to make it even better. Now let's see how to use it within your JS projects. First, you need to install Wawa Lip Sync package with npm install Wawa Lip Sync. Then create a Lip Sync Manager with new Lip Sync. After setting the source of the audio element you want to play, connect it to the Lip Sync Manager with Connect Audio. Then you simply call Process Audio in a loop. For example, Request Animation Frame. And you now have access to the Visim property in the Lip Sync Manager. This is what I'm using in the Avatar component to render it smoothly on my 3D character. It's a simple plug-and-play solution to get Visims in real-time from any audio source. Don't be too surprised about the Liam voice with a woman face. Big frogs jump quickly, vexed that sharp ducks zoom near. It was for testing purpose and we are in 2025. If you want to learn how to create and animate this character, you can check my dedicated tutorial. Or if you are new to 3D web development and want to build a solid foundation, consider exploring my course, React 3 Fiber, the ultimate guide to 3D web development. A project-based course with everything you need to know to start creating professional 3D web experiences with 3JS and React. Link in the description. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button to help this channel be more visible to other creative developers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss my upcoming tutorials. If you want to continue your 3D web development journey, have a look to my course or watch one of my other videos like this one, available here.